Welcome to this toolbox talk on electric power tools. The common tools that we use each day are often overlooked for the hazards they pose if not properly used or maintained. In this toolbox talk, we will discuss about the safe use of power tools that should be followed by the employees. Addressing the hazards will provide awareness for the person conducting the task with the selected tool and how to minimize the risk of the hazard by using the tool properly. However, use of approved equipment does not eliminate all dangers if the equipment is damaged or is used in adverse conditions such as in rain or wet areas. Cord connected portable equipment and supply cords must be maintained in good repair condition and be suitable for each condition of use. We will now discuss about the safe use of the electric power tools. Inspect tools, power cords, and electrical fittings for damage prior to each use. Repair or replace damaged equipment. Switch off tools before connecting to a power supply. Disconnect the power supply before making adjustments in the tool. Make sure tools are either properly grounded or double insulated. Grounded tools must have a three-wire cord with a three-prong plug. This plug must be plugged into a properly grounded three-pole outlet. Do not break off the third ground prong on a plug. Test electrical tools and cords for effective grounding with a continuity tester before use. Do not bypass the tools on and off switch by connecting and disconnecting the power cord. Do not operate electrical tools in an area containing high levels of explosive vapors or gases. Keep power cords away from heat, water, and oil. Do not use light duty power cords for heavy load applications. Do not carry electrical tools by the power cord. Do not overload the circuit by plugging several power cords into one outlet. Ensure that the tool is the right tool for the job and follow the manufacturer's recommendations. Ensure you are wearing the correct PPE for the task. Eye and ear protection should always be worn. Do not allow vehicles or equipment to pass over unprotected power cords. Cords should be put into electrical conduits or protected by placing them between two pieces of lumber of suitable strength. Do not use extension cords as permanent wiring. They must only be used to temporarily supply power to an area that does not have a power outlet. With this, we end this toolbox talk on electric power tools. Thanks for your valuable time. Have a safe day.